Hello everyone, this is King Koniauti. This video I will show you how to use this kc 868 a board integrate with Home Assistant by ESP Home. And I will tell you how to send the HTTP command to this board and work without Raspberry Pi, without Home Assistant. So let's look at the hardware and the config uh, the function list. You can see uh, this is our dashboard for Home Assistant. So I have almost integrate all functions and all parts on the Home Assistant dashboard. You can see input, eight input parts and uh, eight relay output for switch like this on and off. And this is LED strip. You can see I can turn off the LED and uh, turn on the LED and then change the brightness. And also I can change any of this LED strip. And uh, now I can close. And also you can see the temperature sensor, uh, DS18B20. Uh, there are two temperature sensors. And uh, detect the temperature one and the temperature two. And also there are two analog input. I have not connected sensor. You can see the analog input voltage, voltage one, one and uh, two. So I have integrated these functions into one a eight part and uh, communication by the Ethernet part. And uh, there are some rest uh, GPIO you can use, it's up to you. And now I will tell you step by step how to integrate firstly. You can see uh, this is our function list and uh, the relay output and the input. The input uh, in this part uh, that is for switch. Because I have uh, set the automation, uh, the input will trigger the relay output uh, by press on actions. You can see I use this one. I can sh this is Gen D ground and I can shut for one and this really is on and uh, shut again is off. You can see this. Uh, this is easy to see channel one. This is channel one and the shut again will be on and off because I use the Y not good contact. You can use the self reset switch just momentary switch panel for on and off. And the monitor two temperature uh, analog input and the two temperature sensor. This 18B20 uh, temperature sensor. I have used one GPIO part. Actually, you can use many DS18B20 temperature sensor. Use one one one, just one point uh, for multi communication because every sensor will have a different address. We just can according to the address uh, to monitor the sensor. And you can see this is the LED strip. I have connected with this uh, GPIO part. Uh, this I have used one meet just for testing. One meet. This is one meet. And the total have thirty LD, LDs. And by the Ethernet. Okay, this is the dashboard. And you just go to Home Assistant. You can install the add-on for ESP Home. And uh, you can create the device. I have created the case 86888 and you can edit. Uh, you just copy and paste this configuration. I have at here, ESP home. You just uh, select all until, until this section. And you can copy and uh, paste. Uh, paste it to this uh, YAML file. So I have created already. Uh, when you copy and paste, you just press save and install and press USB to the server. Just uh, download the firmware for the USB by Raspberry Pi. And you can click this and detect the USB server part and click. And you will see uh, they will compare the files and for download. And now is the writing Okay, writing complete. Uh, this is logo output information. This is already uh, communication successfully. You can see uh, this is the IP address uh, for the A8 board. And you can see the temperature. Uh, this all sensor date is every time for interview for update. Because you can set the temperature sensor. Uh, you can see I can Found this is for DS-ATB20 and 
update into view five seconds. And every five seconds update the value. So up after complete uh, download, you just click close and this will be online and uh, you can add to this entity, entity to the dashboard. You will see uh, this dashboard. If I can hold down one temperature sensor and you can see the temperature uh, is become up. Uh, is become up. You can click and the history of the record uh, this is changed. Okay, this is very easy. Just uh, copy and paste the configuration for the ESP home and you will see the beautiful dashboard. Now I will tell you how to integrate the third part software for HTTP command. Because we have enabled the web service. Uh, we have defined the web service. Uh, you can see uh, this is enable the web service. So you can open your web browser and you can see I can open ESP8, ESP Home uh, by A8. Just click open. Uh, this URL uh, you can input to your web browser and you will see uh, this is auto generate the website uh, for temperature and for analog and for switch and for input uh, sensor state and for LED strip and you can also see this is output as a logo file uh, this is useful for our debug and uh, now we can see uh, go on uh, this is HTTP command if you want to read the release date uh, we can just uh, copy this this URL this URL how to do this uh, you can see uh, this is our website and just uh, consist with the IP address and the switch if you want to read the relay uh, this is switch type this is switch and this switch one that means this name this is one so if you want to read the switch you can just change to switch two and we can copy and uh, paste and uh, enter and you will get uh, the state you can see the switch state is off if I turn on the switch you can see I turn on the switch uh, the switch is on, uh, channel 1 is on now I can refresh uh, this URL enter again and you can, you can see the state is become on so this is how to read the release state and OK, we go on. And if you want to continue the relay, uh, if you want to talk in, just uh, on, off, on, off. Okay, or, or you can uh, turn on relay or turn off relay. So now the relay one is on, we need to turn off. We can use this command. This is turn off relay one. But that means you need to post, uh, post your URL. So not use this copy and paste at the web browser we can use a windows command and you can see uh, the debug just send a command like this uh, curl x post you can just input uh, this command like this one i can input curl X post slash switch switch one and turn off. Uh, you can see this this relay, and I can enter. Uh, this is relay off. So if you want to turn on, you just change it to on and post this command HTTP command. You can see I can just enter. Uh, this is on. And if you want talking, talking means change the state. Just change the state. And again, again, again. Uh, so this is how to send the HTTP command uh, to turn on and turn off and talking the relay. And we go on. Uh, you can control relay now. And now you can read the relay. Input state, uh, just this input. This can connect with your switch panel or connect with your digital input sensor, like a dot sensor, a window sensor, and a smoking sensor. 
and you want to read the state, uh, so you can just copy this command and uh, we can paste it to the web browser. Because when you continually and you want to it on off, you just need to use this uh, command to testing. And if you want to read, because this uses the get, get information, so you can copy and paste this stream in your web browser directly. And now we can read the input one, so I can copy and uh, paste and enter. Uh, this input one is off. Now I can use this, this is ground, and uh, this is input one. This is input one, I can shoot. Short input one and the link also is off because I have mixed the FTTD command by the ESP home. And you can see the dashboard. Uh, this input one is on. And now I send this command again. I can enter the keyboard. And you can see the state is changed to on. And if I remove this, this one and I can refresh, uh, this state is off. So this is how to read the input state of every input point. You just change it to input 2, that is channel 2, this is input 2. And also you can change input 3, input 4 until input 8. So this is how to read the digital input state sensor. And now you can read the temperature. The temperature how to read, you just, you can copy this string and paste and you can see our web service. This is uh, important you need to note. It cost me many time to find out the problem. Uh, the, if you want to read the temperature sheet, because this is a sensor of the sensor type, uh, this is DS18B20 temperature sensor. And uh, this is the number of this one, this number. But in ESP Home, only can use by low case. If this T is Captain let so you can convert to t and uh, all letters must use the low case so you can copy and uh, paste okay you can get the temperature one uh, is this value if you input this t with the, the capital letter you can add uh, you will see it's wrong so this I have tried many times. I have found out this result. You only need to use the low case and press, and you will get the temperature sensor date. Okay, we we'll go on. Uh, this is read the temperature sensor, and uh, this is read the analog sensor input. Uh, also, you can copy and paste, and you can see the web servers. Uh, this. Analog input also is a sensor type. So this is sensor, and this is analog in one. This is channel one. So we also can change to this A uh, with low case A, and this in all is low case. Uh, also, you can change the name uh, in your ESP home configuration uh, by the low case for the name. Just if you want to use the capital letter, you need to change the the, the words and in this URL and paste paste and you will see as uh, the voltage uh, when you connect a sensor with the uh, analog input uh, you will see the voltage value on this okay we go on and this is read the LD strip uh, LD strip also you can read you can see I can copy and uh, paste the LD strip that use the light, uh, use the light. Uh, what is the sensor? What is the binary sensor? And what is the light type? You just need to check the ESP home and uh, configuration. Uh, you can see I have, I have defined uh, this is, this is by switch, uh, switch type, and this is by, this input is by the binary sensor, and the temperature, uh, you can see, I have defined by the sensor. So you need uh, this type and as thin as this second words. And the last one, just the name or the ID, uh, the name or ID uh, for the ESP home. 
you can see this is LD strip because I have named the LD strip uh, so you can consist with this total strip and copy and uh, paste uh, it will feedback the LD strip uh, state is and uh, the RGB and uh, the RGB is a value if I can change it uh, like this I can change I can change and uh, refresh and you will see uh, the value will be changed uh, this R is 255 because I have set to the red red if I have set to the green green I can refresh refresh uh, you can see the green is become 255 so this is read the RGB state uh, of the brightness and the RGB value and the state okay uh, this is how to uh, use this HTTP command if you want to uh, see more functions you just use Google to search ESP home and you will get the web server API And you will find this web service com component and there are many details how to use okay this is how to integrate the a8 bar to home assistant and you can send the command by the http thanks for watching